Gordon Graham here with today's tip from Lexapol. And today's tip is for my friends in the fire service. And it has to do with the path to career success. For generations, career advancement in the fire service was primarily driven by experience. That often led to leaders who may not have had any formal education beyond high school, but were well-versed in emergency scene strategies and tactics. In recent years, many fire departments have emphasized formal education as part of the promotional process. This has resulted in leaders who have a college degree, but much less emergency scene experience. Now, both systems have pros and cons, but in a business where leaders make life and death decisions, we must strike a balance between education and experience. Fire departments have evolved from providing the single function of extinguishing fires to becoming the all hazards organizations we have today. Back in the day, buildings were built differently, fires burned slower, and officers' responsibilities were centered on effective training and operations. Today, most buildings are constructed with lightweight materials. Most furnishings burn much faster and produce more heat and toxic byproducts. And many fire departments experience budget and retention problems. Officers are no longer simply training their crews and writing reports. They're applying for grants to obtain much needed funding. They're studying things like flow paths and how they impact the scene. And they're learning the ins and outs of modern technologies. The fire service needs leaders who can effectively jump between the two very different tasks of managing an emergency scene and handling all the things that keep the department running. So if you're looking to be promoted someday, consider getting your degree while you gain valuable experience in the field. The public deserves the best. Leaders with a healthy mix of education and experience can help build a safer, more professional, and more effective fire service. And that is today's tip from Lexapol. Gordon Graham, signing off.